The entertainment industry is a multi-billion dollar a year industry, reaching viewers from all ages, genders, races, locations and classes of people. Entertainment is seen in all its forms, from the dancer in the street to the blogger on the internet. Whatever the case may be, entertainment is a way of life. Now in our previous video we went through the understanding on what entertainment was all about. We saw that it's not just a simple case of being entertained under amusement, fun, jokes, games and also watching movies. But we saw entertainment to be in a condition where you are held, kept, bound to be in a condition of tainment. So just like a fish held and captured in a net based on the drawing of bait, what bait is used to draw people in to this form of attainment? And why did God inspire the Apostle Paul who said in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And most importantly, what is entertainment's part to play in these last days? Let's find out in part 2 of our documentary, The Doctrine of Entertainment. Our next dissection comes from the music video Die Young by Keisha, whose video has received over 100 million views, thus having a major influence on viewers from all over this world. Keisha Rose Sebert, born on March 1, 1987, known by her stage name as Keisha, is an American songwriter and rapper. In 2005, at the age of 18, she was signed to producer Dr. Luke's record label, Kimosabi Entertainment. Although an active musician since then, singing background vocals and writing songs for other artists, her breakthrough came in early 2009 after appearing on Flo Rida, the rapper, his number one single, Right Round. Her debut album, Animal, and her first extended play, Cannibal, were released in 2010. Keisha's irreverent music and image propelled her to immediate commercial success. It's interesting that her irreverence pushed her all the way to the top, being one of the most impacting musical artists of all time. Now as I saw her video, I noticed an overwhelming picture promoting the New Age movement and the Illuminati. In her video, you will see images that promote these things in such a way that you can't miss it. But as you slow down each scene, you'll notice certain images that promote these movements of the New Age. The Eye of Lucifer the upside down cross, and even the goat's head which represents Lucifer as Baphomet. But what's more important is the doctrine that is taught in this video and the way this video tells its story. In the beginning of the video, you'll notice a car pulling up towards a church. What's interesting about this car is that it looks exactly like a car that would be driven in the subject of a funeral. Again, notice how the men are carrying Keisha and Keisha in a veil as if someone has died. Interesting how this is exactly what pallbearers do when they bring the dead person through into the church. Now, what do we see from the time the driver pulls up to her breaking down these doors? But let's examine. You'll notice the car pulls up in front of the church. But as some of you may have missed, notice what's on the car. We see a goat's head on the rear of the car without its horns. We see also a sign that says evil. And we see horns on the front of the car. And next we see the body of Keisha being taken out by these poor bearers. What do you notice about the positioning of her hands before she exits the car? It's raised up in a certain position just like the position of Baphomet. As she is taken on the inside, you'll notice some flashing images these white and black triangles, which are the same colour of a chequered floor in a Masonic temple. And you also notice this, the upside down cross. In the next scene, as she walks into the church, you'll notice a service going on. 
a ritualistic ceremony that calls up demonic forces. Basically an open invitation to invite the devil and his forces in. Now why would someone want to do something as evil as allow the devil to come into their lives like this? When Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness, Satan tempted him with something that only a humble and meek person could resist. He offered him all the glory and the splendor of this world. But just like it said about Moses in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, Christ did not take hold of this temptation. However, height and glory that these artists have received has only come through the agency of dark forces. Snoop Dogg in his music video Murder Was A Case shows full details of how his life changed by accepting the devil into his life. His wealth, popularity and prosperity came through these forces. So why would someone introduce these forces into their lives? Money. In the Bible, Timothy writes regarding money, For the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Keisha is taken into the church while a service and a ritual is going on. In the same light as when one has died, the poor bearer brings the coffin in the church and a service commences. Now what happens in this church is so graphic and subliminal that I will only have to show just a few samples of the scene. The service scene in this church not only shows ritualistic satanic practices, but you see a complete sacrifice of the body of Keisha to Satan. You will also notice the image of the star which is the same image used for Baphomet. You also notice another scene where she seems to be having a good time, dancing around, but notice something very carefully that she does. I'm sure you can agree that this is nothing but a giving up of the soul to Lucifer and a complete surrender of her life in death to a new life with Satan. This can be seen in the very last clip of the video where she walks out not in a veil of death but dressed in a normal attire, with the symbol of Lucifer attached to her. Now although this can be seen in its obvious evil aspects, what doctrine is being taught in this video? In the lyrics of the video, you will notice death is the key message. Not just death in its undiluted state, but death in the sense of doing what you want as if there is no tomorrow. But what is key about this message is not the message of simply dying that there is no tomorrow. Instead, the lyric says, like we're gonna die young. The Apostle Paul in the Bible, in the time of the Corinthians, says something extremely vital about this kind of behaviour and also this kind of saying. If I have, as it were, fought wild beasts here in Ephesus simply from human motives, what have I gained? But if the dead are not raised to life, then as the saying goes, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we will die. Do not be fooled, bad companions ruin good character. Come back to your right senses and stop your sinful ways. I declare to your shame that some of you do not know God. And so the doctrine in this video is promoting the point that if there is no God, do as you please, live as you like, there is no restrictions on life, the world is yours, 
just as Satan tempted Jesus with the whole world being under his belt. You will also notice that the doctrine of the church of Satan simply says this, Do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Because of this doctrine we see all kinds of practices like orgies or homosexuality and all other forms of evil promoting life as if there is no tomorrow, enjoying the pleasures of sin for a season. Now as you can see in this clip, this looks just like the scene of Sodom. They lived as if there was no tomorrow and guess what, there was no tomorrow. This teaching of do as you please is a fulfillment of the church of Satan. The exact same thing that the high priest of the church of Satan states. This is a very selfish religion. We believe in greed, we believe in selfishness, we believe in all of the lustful thoughts that motivate man because this is man's natural uh, feeling. Sexual freedom is something we feel is very important as a necessary requisite of the satanic church. It isn't the most important thing, but certainly it's an elective. We feel a person should be free to indulge in all of the so-called fetishes, all of the so-called uh, uh, aberrations that they would so desire, as long as they don't hurt anyone that doesn't deserve or wish to be hurt. Sexual freedom is something we feel is very important as a necessary requisite of the satanic church. It isn't the most important thing, but certainly it's an elective. We feel a person should be free to indulge in all of the so-called fetishes, all of the so-called uh, uh, aberrations that they would so desire, as long as they don't hurt anyone that doesn't deserve or wish to be hurt. You see, Satan's attack is on every human being on this planet, but primarily he wants to aim at the young. If he can get the young at their early stage of life, it will be nearly impossible to break the trap that he has set on them. But notice I said nearly impossible, because through Christ all things are possible. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. It is interesting that people in this generation live life for today and not for the future. Therefore they do things such as hardcore partying. Unless the young are trained, they will depart from the path of righteousness. And in context of people living life for today and not for the future, it even goes as far as them even marking up their bodies in strange places. Can you imagine being 60, 70 or even 80 years old with this big tattoo on your face? And so the doctrine that 100 million plus viewers are being taught is that life is only early. There is no life beyond the young age. Even to the point that there are fans that even support this kind of behavior though it promotes death. A YouTube user who watched her video said the following. Keisha, she's perfect and she really knows how to rock. I think she's the rock queen and everyone else stop commenting if it's not good. I'm a kickboxer, so comment nice or don't comment at all. Another YouTube user says the following. I don't know why people be hating on Keisha so much, like leave her alone. All y'all are just a bunch of bullies. Let her do her. Y'all talk about sex too, everyone does. Just because she's crazy doesn't mean she's a... She just likes having fun because we only live once. I'm not really into Keisha, but seeing all your hate gets me mad. If you don't like her, then don't listen to her. So what? That ain't true. It's just a video. So you'll notice the points in bold shows us the doctrine in the video being acknowledged even to people who profess that they are not into her music. Is it true that we live once? No. This is what Jesus came to reform. This is why Jesus says in John chapter 10 verse 10, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. While the doctrine of this video is to say live life for now, enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, for a short time, 
Christ has said he has gone to prepare a place for us and he will come again and receive us unto himself. But it seems that over a hundred million views has had an experience of the understanding of this doctrine, of the doctrine in this video, Die Young. Is it just a music video? Is it just Keisha having a good time? Think again.